Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a, another version of Anna. And uh, she is a little standing doll, as you can see. Let me see if I can make her stand up. She's a bit head heavy. There we go. But she does not have a detachable standing skirt. Okay, she's a 2D figure. Um, so a little bit different. But for those of you that are not wanting to make the added extra skirt for the detachable standing skirt version I have, this is the one for you. So the colours we're going to need, I'm using caramel for her hair. I have skin tone, turquoise, gold, black and navy blue. Um, I'm also using the 4mm by 7mm mini pony beads for her eyes. But if you don't have those, you can use little black bands, okay? So let's get started. We're going to use a single loom. It's going to be in the offset configuration. So columns one and three are going to be slightly lower than column two. The open part of the peg is facing towards us or the arrow is facing towards us. And we are going to be, for the most part, double banding. I am going to be using the crafty ladybug technique of hair at the back of the head. I think that is imperative um, when making figures I think it looks so much better so please if you haven't had a look at her channel please go and do so she's got some um, really great stuff out there two bands we're going to start here up the top and place our caramel bands for her hair now I'm not going to add a streak in her hair until after the fact as far as this side of things we will in her little braid but in the actual uh, on the loom, we will do that afterwards. So we're double banding with our caramel bands. And it does make it a little tighter because you have more bands on your pegs but I do think it is worth the the uh, the trouble because it's such a good look after take a single band and stretch it across here this is going to be our crossover band and another one up the top here like that over the three pegs now we're going to do our little braid for her hair so for the first one that goes on this right side taking a single band wrapping it once and twice and we're going to do six pair, I believe it's six, one, two, it can be as many as you like really, it's, it's your, uh, your little doll you're making, three, four, five, and six and that's going to go this side here on the right like that and then on the other side you have the option of doing um, two two brown two of the caramel and a white or just a caramel and a white so start with your caramel wrap it once and twice and I'm just going to do one of each One, two, three, four. Five. And six. And let's just place that here. Now two for the neck area here. And then using caramel, you're going to take one band, wrap it once and twice and pop it here as your end cap, okay? We're going to dig down past that end cap and grab those two caramel bands and loop them up. Loop the side ones, this side here, 
on this side here, push down. We loop up once and twice for the centre. You're going to loop the bottom. Sorry, it's difficult for me to see at this angle. Come here. There we go. These two bottom ones, loop those up. Make sure you're pushing the crossover bands back with the back of your hook. You just want those bottom bands. And push everything down because now we need to lay the bands for the face. Now we skip from peg one to peg two because that's the hair. All right. So we're going to take a pair and place from peg two to peg three and peg three to peg four and two to three on this side as well. And then from the chin to the jaw. On either side. Two for the neck. As I said, it gets a bit tight and squeezy, so push things down, okay? Single, stretch it as a crossover over here. For the crossover for the eyes, we're going to take a fir our first one and twist it once, twice, and three times. And that stops the eyes from slipping to the back of the head. Now, as I said, I'm using these beads for eyes. If you don't have beads, you can use bands. Really doesn't matter. Each band, you have two, one for each eye. You take a black band, wrap it once, twice, three times, and four times. That equates to one bead. So do the same with another one. Once, twice, three times, and four times. And as I slide my beads onto a single skin tone band, like this, you would do the very same thing with the, the bands on your hook, okay? Pull apart and stretch between these two pegs and then you're going to put your hook between this band and take the top band, or the top part of the band, up and over this peg so that that now acts as a crossover band for us. Take these black bands off my hook there. All right. So at this stage, we're good for the face. We are going to do some little hair extension, but we don't need to worry about that just yet. What we are going to do is push our hook under this brown band here that we used as our end cap and pull it up on top of the neck bands and push that down. That ties in the back of her hair to her face. Okay. Now we're going to do uh, some turquoise bands for her shirt. So I'm doing two and another pair. Come see. Two down here and two like that. I'm going to move to some black bands for her waistcoat. One gold bands you need three just for this top part you're going to stretch one from where the black band starts in the middle to where the black band starts on the third peg and the same the other side like that and then we're going to put a gold end cap here so take a single gold wrap it once and twice and pop that right there okay we're going to do our arms you're going to take a single skin tone band and wrap it once and twice and slide onto a pair like that. And then you're going to slide onto four pair of turquoise. Let's get some of these bands out of the way. So here's our first pair. 
try and make it so that when you slide them on these don't get too tangled and twisted on each other so that's one two three and four this is one arm and that will go on this shoulder area here let's do the other arm single skin tone wrap it once and twice slide onto a pair and four pair of turquoise And pop that on the other shoulder like that we're going to move to navy blue again you're using two bands at a time and these are going to go all the way to the bottom of your loom on each column Now I am taking Poetic License with my um, Anna doll. Usually I know her skirt does not go to the floor and she wears black boots. But in order for us to make our doll stand, we're going to do a skirt that goes to the floor and no black boots. Two from the centre to the right, two from the centre to the left. And we're going to put an end cap right here, so single blue once and twice and just pop that here on the end like that. We're going to do some crossover bands so take a single black band and stretch it across these three pegs up here. Take another single black band and you're going to stretch it into a figure eight, loop it on itself and stretch that across the next three pegs. Do the same with another black band, stretch it, figure eight, loop it on itself and that goes here. These are the only two that get stretched and doubled on themselves. That's because they try and draw the waist in. Okay. So for the rest of these ones, you're just taking a single blue band and stretching it down across the three pegs as crossovers like that. Okay. Um, at this point also, we should do another three gold from where the blue starts to the black on either side like that and you need one in the middle as an end cap. Wrap your single band twice around your hook and pop that on. Oh, I only did it. Let's try that again once and twice. So you have three loops and pop that on. Now we have a little bit of fiddling to do. We're going to um, add her puffiness to her skirt here and I used to do it as layers, but people got very confused with layers, so I'm not doing it as layers anymore. I'm doing it as an extension, but we include these in as well. Click down past this end cap and grab our top two blue bands. Make sure that your end cap stays in place and loop those down to the left and then loop the other ones to the right. We're going to loop up this first one on column one, the first one on column three, and on column two. 
Now, this is where we have our fiddle factor. We're going to use some extra blue bands and we're going to make another column out here and another column out here. So push your hook through this part that we've already looped and grab two bands and pull back through and reclaim. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see exactly what I'm doing because it's a little bit fiddly. Grab another two bands and you're going to pull through those two loops but you're not going to reclaim just yet. What you're going to do is grab the crossover band and then reclaim. Okay, So you now have five loops on your hook. Your next two will go on your hook and you're going to pull them through all five loops. Again, you're not going to reclaim. You're going to grab the next crossover band and then reclaim. Take your next two pop them on the end of your hook and I tend to put my thumb where I've been like this is the one that we've just done grab my next two bands and pull those through and I'm now going to grab the next crossover band and reclaim my bands I'm moving my thumb to that next one now Grab another two bands, put them on my hook and my finger. Pull those through. I have one more to do. Here we go, right here. Grab that. And it doesn't matter if the crossover band comes off its peg, because you can always put that back. Grab your last two. Pull through. Reclaim. And that will sit here where the gold band is. Now you can check that your crossover bands are all in the right spot and they are. Let's do the other side. I'm going to zoom back out so you can see. Turn your loom so that it's um, an angle that's good for you. Your first two go through this part here okay? and then you're going to take your next two and thread it through but then capture that crossover band on your hook as well and reclaim. Take your next two and you're going to put them on your hook and draw through. Don't reclaim. You're going to grab this next crossover band. And it doesn't matter if you grab it from the top or, or where really. Pop it on your hook so again you have the five loops on your hook. Grab your next two and pull through. Keep it like this. Grab your next one. Two bands. Pull through. And grab your last one. Put it on your hook. Grab the bands. And pull through. And reclaim. And again, that is going to sit up here next to the gold band. Make sure your crossover band, see how this one needs to come down here? But other than that, all the crossover bands are in the right spot. You should have one, two, three, four, five, six extra on each side. Put those blue ones away. Let's start looping up. You've already done this first one. So dig down, push everything back with your hook, just exposing those two bottom bands and we loop up and up and up and up and stop when you finish at that blue okay let's do the same on the other side we're just looping up the dark blue at this stage push down let's do the center now, loop this up, but now what we have to do is dig down past that end cap and grab our top gold band and loop it to the side. And then you're going to do the same for the other one that goes the other side. So just make sure you just grab the gold band 
like that. Now it's going to be really easy to forget to loop the black bands that are under there and if that happens the whole thing falls apart. So remember dig down grab those black bands and loop those up. Loop up to this spot here like that. Now we'll loop up the sides of the black. One, two, all the way to the shoulder. Three, push everything back with your hook so that you're just exposing the bottom two bands. Push your arms down, dig down past the end cap and grab that first top gold band and loop up to the side that it corresponds with and the same for the other one. Again, you have a turquoise pair under here. You need to dig down and grab that first pair of turquoise and loop up. If you don't, you'll be very unhappy with me. Dig down on the shoulders, find the two turquoise bands and loop to the throat before we do the center ones. These are not rainbow loom turquoise and they're very, very tight. I'm not liking them terribly much. If you feel that they're tight, sometimes you can just run your hook around the outside of the peg and it loosens things up a little bit. Don't forget to loop these center ones up like that. Okay, we're going to dig down now and find the two skin tone bands. Wiggle, 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 wiggle till we get up there. Again, this is really tight because of the turquoise band, so I'm just releasing some of the pressure to make sure that I don't snap anything. At this stage, we're going to take the top two and loop to one side, and the next two and loop to their corresponding side. Now, I actually want to put um, hair extensions here so that she, she looks like she's got buffier hair that doesn't just sort of on the side of her head. So I'm going to take a pair of um, caramel. Sorry, I, had to, I couldn't even think what colour I was using then. A bit crazy, wasn't it? I'm going to take a pair of caramel. Now, if I loop these in, okay, what I want to make sure that happens is that the skin tone is on top of the caramel. I don't want the caramel to be on top of my skin tone. I just, I think it looks, um, I don't think it looks really very, very nice at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to loop up these two here. There's one band. Let's see if I can get the second. There we go. There's my second one. All right. I'm going to go and I'm going to dig my hook through, now it's through the bottom two of the skin tone, but it's all through, also through the top two of the brown, of the caramel, and I'm going to draw back, if I possibly can, two bands like that, and then another two bands. Pull them through like so. I can see right here that there is the brown um, crossover band. I'm going to pop that on my hook. That's from the hair. And I'm going to pop that on my hook and then I'm going to reclaim so that this ties into the back. I have one more pair to go through like that. And then I'm going to hold these out to the side and loop up this pair of brown and put these back on in place like that then loop these bottom two up to the top okay let's do the same this side we loop these two skin tone first and then if you can see here we've got these two bottom ones and these two top ones of the brown. That's where we're going through. So grab two bands. You're going to go through the two and the two. So it's those two middle ones here. Grab your two caramel. 
bring them through and we're going to get another two and these are the two that we're going to add to the crossover band which is here you can see it in the middle and reclaim two more bands on the end of your hook pull through I do twist my hook so that the hook doesn't jag on one of the other bands reclaim and then hold those so you can loop this brown pair up caramel pair up like that reclaim you're going to pop these just here on this peg if I can get my hands to work there we go dig down find the bottom two loop those up and that's secured those in place now let's do the center because we don't want to rip it all off the loom and not have this this face tied in look for your two skin tone bands and loop up I, t I try desperately with the face not to tangle the bands so they're not twisted because it looks really odd if you have a twisted face so if you do find that your bands are twisting gently run your hook around to untwist grab these and we loop up we're going to take two caramel bands to tie off with I use two because it's an insurance policy pop your hook through the center peg here all the way to the bottom grab the two bands and twist as you pull back up so it doesn't snag anything and pull to the back side of this peg and reclaim one over the other and pull tight to take her off the loom I use the back of a metal hook you can use your normal hook just be careful of the hook I use the back because there's no hook there I use this to help ease her off the loom especially when there's lots of bands on something the last thing I want is uh, a band to snap because there's added pressure so just gently ease her off move our loom out of the way stretch her into shape a little bit um, you might need to use a hook just to adjust where these bands are lying with the arms I tend to move up and down up and down just to get them sort of situated here's a little braid here I'm going to use my hook to go through the back here and drag these two tie-off bands back to the back of her head and I'm going to hide those in her hair at the back here if you want to put a little white streak through the top here all you need to do is just grab a little white band and I poke it through and you just gently draw it up through part of her hair like this And then at the top here, I would just take a caramel band and do a slip knot. And again, you can hide that 
at the back of her head. Pull it through and then just hide that loop back up. You can hide a multitude of sins at the back of the head there. So that's her, um, her little stripe in her hair and her pigtails. Now, to do the standing part of the skirt, basically, um, when I did uh, Elsa, I did it um, single banded and I find that double banding actually makes it a little bit stronger. So I'm gonna show you double banding instead. If you turn it over, you can notice that you've got a stitch here, which has got two, two loops here and two loops here. A stitch here two loops here, two loops there, another stitch here with two loops either side and another stitch here with two loops either side. Okay, so you've got four stitches with two loops either side. We're going to work in each of these loops around her base of the skirt. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see a little bit easier what I'm doing. We're going to have her back facing towards us. We're going to go through the two loops that are on the furthest right. Taking two bands, you're going to draw them through like that and reclaim and take these two up and over those two like a slip knot. You're going to go back through that same pair of stitches that we had right there. So th these are our stitches, okay? So we already did one little slip knot we're going to do another little slip knot in that same spot so take another two bands and pull through reclaim and pull those first two over the second two you now have two slip knots here you're going to take these ones and move them up and over so you just have these two loops on your hook we're going to do exactly the same all the way around. So here's our, I'm going to say this is our second stitch. And we're going to take two bands. Draw them through. One over the other. And then you, you're going to link these together by putting one over the other. And again, do another two in there. Okay, go to the third one and we'll do two of those little slip knots, join them all in together as well. Here's our first one, one over, join them to the ones in front like that and let's do our second one in here. Two bands, one over the other and join them together by putting that one up and over. We're now on the outside of the right. Two bands. And another two, so go through that same spot. Now we're moving to the front Here's the two at the front. This is our first little slip knot. And go back in for the second. The next stitch. One more in that stitch. Oops, get both loops. This is our third stitch on the front. Go back for a second. Here's our last, this is the fourth on the front. Okay. 
in our second in that stitch. Oops, let's draw both of them through. There we go. And we're back at the beginning. Now, pull this out a bit. If you have a look, we've started to make it's almost like a little stand. Now, in these next stitches, you can see that there are two either side, just like before. This time, we're only going to work, ignore that one that's already there, because that's linking this one in. We're only going to work in these two front ones. These two back ones, we're not going to link in at all. So go through the front two, take another two bands. We're going to do the same. We're doing a slip knot, one over the other. Oops, let's get both of them. So do our slip knot, join in the one that was behind us. But this time we're only doing one slip knot in each of these stitches. Here's the front two stitches, the front two loops, I'm sorry. Get our two bands and we'll do a single slip knot. For those of you that didn't know, you're actually crocheting with loom bands. Hold on. Here's the front two stitches, loops, one over the other and join together. Here's the front two. Pull through, do your slip knot and join together. Here's the front two. Just keep going round, just grabbing the first two loops. If you mess up, back out and redo. You see how this is forming? And here's the front two. Now this is an optional part. If you don't care that she doesn't stand up, you don't have to do this. Just a nice little added extra. I'm back at the beginning. I'm going to do a slip knot. So what I'm going to do, I've got two here that I need to go through. And then I'm going to take a single band and I'm just going to find a little spot just here with my single band. I'm going to go through that loop and attach the loops that are on my hook and do a slip knot and pull tight. Okay, and then I'm going to stretch this out. My little base. And tuck that 
band under here so you can't see it from the front and there we have our standing doll so the little base that we've made is basically so that it looks like her dress is uh, spilling out on the floor beside her some of them get a bit hair heavy so um, you, you might have to sort of angle them a little bit to uh, to make them stand. She was standing beautifully and I messed that up, didn't I? As they, um, as the bands relax and form their shape properly, they, they do stand a little easier too, as Elsa is doing. But there we go, there's Anna as well. Put her hands down. So I hope you enjoy making them. Um, fun little doll, just a little bit different. So there they are standing and there they are together. Have fun making them. Take care. Bye bye.